In this problem, we want to find the net work done on a box as a force accelerates it across a floor. Now the formula for work is equal to the force times its displacement, as long as those two vectors are perpendicular to one another. The problem doesn't give us the force, but since force is equal to mass times acceleration, we can just use those two things instead, since those are given to us by the problem. We're not given the distance, however, but since we have the time and the acceleration, we can figure out what that distance is using our kinematics equations of a motion. Now, one of those equations, like you, you know the process, you go through the kinematics equations and look for the one that you can use to find the unknown. And I think the best one to use for this problem is the equation that tells us that a change in position is equal to the initial speed times time plus one half of the acceleration times t squared. Now the block accelerates from rest, so this term goes to zero because v naught is zero. And then the distance can then be figured out just using these two things that were given. And so if we plug them into if we plug this term into the calculator, if we just put in one half times the acceleration times t squared using two meters per second squared for acceleration and using 7 seconds for t, then we find a distance of about 49 meters. So now we just put these values into the equation for work. The mass is 4.0 kilograms. The acceleration is 2.0 meters per second squared. And the distance is 49 meters. If we put this into our calculator, then we find a net work of about 930 joules. So this is how much work is done on the box. That's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me make more videos like this. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best I can. But that's all for now. And I hope you all have a lovely night. Bye-bye.